what a bunch of devils in my home country of Canada who run the godless state of Quebec. Seriously, these atheist devils over in Quebec, these militant secularists, okay, just keep in mind, I'm all for the separation of church and state, but these secular devils over in Quebec, they're violating that extremely, okay? Secular, militant secularism, militant atheism is a direct threat to liberty of conscience and freedom of religion. And I'm gonna show that. These bunch of devils over in Quebec who are pushing this law to restrict, to basically violate church-state separation. This is the fruits of the sci-fi death cult of atheism. And by the way, I'm an ex-atheist, so I'm gonna be going pretty hardcore in this video because as an ex-atheist who escaped the sci-fi death cult of atheism, by God's grace, obviously, uh, this makes me pretty mad. So I'm gonna show this video, or it's not a video, uh, article. On Canadian law bans Christian cross, Jew Jewish kippah, and Muslim hijab. Okay, now, obviously I believe in liberty of conscience, okay? Muslims, Jews, Sikhs, whatever, they can wear what they want, okay? If the Muslim woman wants to wear a hijab, she is free to do so. It's her liberty of conscience, it's her right. You see, this is why I, I really get ticked off about the blatant hypocrisy of, of you know, what we refer to some of these counter jihad people or some of these, you know, militant secularists is that, you know, in one breath, they'll say that, oh, Muslim women are being oppressed or being forced to wear it, okay? You know, am I a Muslim? No, I'm not a Muslim. I'm a Christian. You know, I, I have my disagreements with Islam, obviously. You know, as a Christian, I just have that. But you see, what these hypocritical devils in Quebec are trying to do is they're saying, well, it's, it's oppressing her. It's oppressing her. Well, what if she chooses to wear it? Huh? What if she wants to wear it? So let me get this straight. You're banning it, you know, because here's the argument by these some of these devils, you know, and, and you know, I'm not saying all the counter jihad movement are a bunch of devils, but a lot of them are just... You know, I'm just gonna come out and say a lot of them are hypocrites. And you know, they'll say that, oh, they're being oppressed by wearing the hijab, they're being oppressed. Well, so we're gonna we're gonna get rid of their oppression by banning them from wearing it. So wait a second, your argument is that they're being forced to wear it against their will, they're being controlled what they're wearing on their bodies. So we're gonna fight against it by controlling what they wear on their bodies. You see, if you're out there supporting this kind of ban, you're being just as you're being just as as uh, evil and wrong as the people who would force them to wear it because you're still controlling what she wears on her body. So you're being just as bad, quite frankly. And again, it's a liberty of conscience. She, ha she has the right to wear that. And quite frankly, I'm just gonna come out and say this. I may, this might make some people upset, but honestly, I really don't care. Uh, I actually prefer, I actually like it when women wear the hijab. Why? Because they're more modest that way. If I get married, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make my wife wear a head, co head covering. Why? Because it's more modest. Much better than the, the, the prostitute of so-called, you know, I mean, what women wear today in the Western world is a bunch of, of harlot attire. It's a bunch of prostitute, you know, wear these filthy bikinis they wear on the beach, you know, exposing their, their you know, bodies to everyone. Seriously, when I go to the beach, I want to just throw up because it's just disgusting how these, these wicked harlots dress. And by the way, white women are the worst at it, okay? Obviously, I am a white nationalist. I do support a white nationhood, but white women are the worst at when it comes to dressing like a bunch of filthy harlots. Okay, and by the way, you may think I'm being harsh. I'm not, okay? Because the Bible uses that word whore a lot. Okay, let me show you a few verses. Um, let me show you a couple, let me just show, search up the word whore. And this is not on my notes, I'm just going on, going on a rant because this really ticks me off. Uh, search the word whore. It appears 15 times in the Bible. It is a biblical word, the word whore. And you know, when women dress like a bunch of filthy harlots, and by the way, I'm not being, I'm not being hardcore, that is very, biblical language they're a bunch of filthy harlots they dress like a bunch of prostitutes ladies of the night and by the way too i love it when they complain oh stop sexually harassing me stop hey how about you stop dressing like a like a harlot and maybe they won't sexually harass you here's here's a word of advice if you don't want to be treated like a sex object don't don't dress and act like one you know that that's real isn't it that is real life and blunt and brutal you know that i guarantee that's gonna get me kicked off all kinds of platforms that can, that's gonna get me hate hate speech strikes on youtube but that's real life okay that's blunt and brutal right in your face. If you don't want to be treated like one, don't act and dress like one. You know, don't dress like a prostitute if you don't want to get treated like one. And by the way, you know, again, I'd have my disagreements with Islam, but they have a right to wear it. It's their liberty of conscience. And by the way, you know, my Baptist, I'm not a Baptist, but I do identify with ancient Baptists more. They were for liberty of conscience. You know, my heritage as a, you know, I guess you could say a non-Catholic, non-Protestant Christian is liberty of conscience. and. I can disagree with somebody and they have the right to believe what they want. That simple. It's liberty of conscience. 
okay these people who are advocating this ban they're just as as i mean essentially they just want atheist china they're just as bad as the theocracies who would force them to wear it okay this is and by the way too the reason why i'm so vehemently against this is because they're using us on christians too see this is why you know banning islam is not is, is is really really bad why because when you give the government that kind of power to to control people like that what's going to stop them from using it on christians what's going to stop them from using it on you know anyone who doesn't because when you give the government that kind of power they're going to use it on christians like they have done over in north korea so just, that's my rant that was free that wasn't part of the video but yeah they can wear what they want uh they if they have a right to wear it if they choose to wear it they have a right to wear it it's their liberty of conscience and i'll f i'll fight for that obviously and plus too i actually like it when they do because they're more modest that way you know the muslim women are the only people on the beach who are even dressed somewhat decently not like a disgusting dirty dirty prostitute like everyone else is and that's real life isn't it that's real for you if you can't take that go watch something else quite frankly because this really ticks me off i every single summer i'm, I'm just my eyes are assaulted by women who are dressed like like by white women in particular who are dressed like a bunch of harlots it makes me want to throw up okay put some clothes on i don't want to i don't want to see your body okay and by the way don't complain about being assaulted if you're dressed like a like a disgusting prostitute that was my rant okay that was free that wasn't uh, part of my notes now onto the article so that was free by the way you don't pay for that <laughs> whatever Quebec Elementary School school teacher resigned from class over hijab due to Bill 21 on December 9th. As an Ahmadi, I hope I'm saying that right, Muslim woman living in Canada, this news is extremely unsettling. I feel not only for the Muslim woman who can no longer wear the hijab to work, but also for the Christian who can't wear the cross, the Jewish man who is forced to remove his kippah, the Sikh that must remove their turban, and anyone else that is forced to choose between their faith and career due to this very un-Canadian law. See, again, this is why I'm against any kind of laws that restrict people like this, because they can use it on Christians and everybody else too. You see, if you're, if you, if you're some idiot out there who supports this, you're, like, you're an idiot, plain and simple. Because they're going to use it on you too. If you're some, if, if some professing Christian supports this, you're you're just an idiot. Because they're, they're going to use it on you too. Okay. Again, liberty of conscience. They have a right to wear that. They can wear what they want. And if you don't like that, then go move to North Korea. Quite frankly. Uh, while it's claimed that Bill 21 was passed to further secularize Quebec, its whole premise ironically promotes the opposite. Yeah, it's a blatant violation of church-state separation. Okay. I mean, this kind of stuff, if, you know, if the American colonies, the Baptists, under the Baptists, you know, because the Baptist colonies were the only ones that had liberty of conscience, if this happened there, they would have picked up guns and fought them. You know, that's the thing. This is not separation of church and state. This is state enforced secularism. Okay. And these wicked devils, I don't even view them as humans. They're a bunch of soulless demons over in Quebec who are doing this, who hate liberty of conscience, hate freedom of religion. They're a bunch of worthless antichrist trash who are restricting people from exercising their religion, who are restricting, you know, Muslim women who just choose to wear it, okay? What a bunch of devils over in the Quebec Parliament. That's all I have to say. We're going to continue reading. I guarantee you, I'm going to get so much hate comments. I'm going to get, you know, all these all John Craig and Exposed videos all over the internet. I'm going to have, you know, my email flooded with hate mail. I don't really care. If you don't like it, just get off this video. While it was claimed that Bill 21, oh yeah, I already read that, secularization was meant to ensure that the state remained neutral toward religious affairs so people won't be favored or disfavored on account of their religion or lack thereof. Well, this bill is a violation of that, blatantly. Bill 21 attacks religious freedoms of Canadians, preventing them from practicing their civil roles and takes away the very diversity Canada, Canada, Canadians pride ourselves in. Now again, if some idiot out there supports this, you know, you're a fool. You're just supporting communism. Okay, again, you don't have to agree with Islam, but banning them from doing this is is not right. Same thing with France. You know, France banning the hijab. What if they want to wear it? By the way, if it doesn't cover their face, what's the problem? Okay, you, I mean, someone can make the argument. Well, if it covers their face, well, the hijab doesn't cover their face. So at that point, you're just trying to enforce the Luciferian Satanist ideology of secularism on them. Let me show you some scripture about what the Bible says about these militant secularist devils, these soulless demons, these worthless pieces of trash over in Quebec who are restricting liberty of conscience and freedom. And by the way, you think I'm being harsh? The Founding Fathers would have said the same thing about America. Or, or the Founding Fathers of America would have said the same thing about these secularist communist devils over in Quebec who are doing the same thing. Obviously, I'm not American, but you get the point. Psalms 53. And by the way, too, if I pray that God's wrath comes down upon them if, the, if they don't repent of this. 
Mark my words, if they don't repent of this, I pray God judges them. Plain and simple. Okay. Uh, Psalms 14, verses 1 to 3. Here's what God thinks about these seculars and devils over in Quebec who are doing this. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. The Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and, and seek God. They are all gone aside. They are all put together. They all together become filthy. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. Perfectly describes these, these soulless devils, these worthless antichrist Luciferian pieces of garbage over in Quebec who are doing this. There's none that doeth good. They're abominable. They hate freedom of conscience. They hate liberty of conscience. Okay, Psalms 53. And again, you think I'm being harsh? This is what God's word says about them. They're abominable. They're filthy. There's none that do with good. So if you think I'm being harsh, you know, you should just take it up with God because he says way more hardcore things than I do. Psalm 53 verses 1 to 3. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Corrupt are they. They have done abominable iniquity. There is none that doeth good. God looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand, that did seek God. Every one of them has gone back. They are altogether become filthy. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. There's no such thing as a good atheist. There's none that doeth good. Okay? Not one. Okay? There's no, just not a righteous person on earth. Jesus Christ is the way of salvation. And you, and you secular devils over there in Quebec, you better get saved and get born again because you're going to die and go to a devil's hell and you're going to realize the truth at that point. That's simple. Okay? They have, the Muslim women have a right to wear that hijab. It's a freedom, it's liberty of conscience. You don't have to agree with it, but don't force your ideology upon them. And by the way, don't force your ideology upon me too, by the way. If you don't like me wearing a cross to my workplace, just deal with it because I'm going to wear it whether you like it or not, quite frankly. If you don't like it, then that's your problem, not mine. You should go move to North Korea. You wicked, soulless, worthless antichrist piece of garbage who hates liberty of conscience. Again, you should see what God's word says about it. So anyway, don't be deceived by these secular devils over in Quebec, these worthless pieces of trash. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.